In Chicago, it happened again last night. Kids shooting kids. Gangs fighting gangs. In Chicago, it happened again last night. Kids shooting kids. Gangs fighting gangs. In Chicago, it happened again last night. Kids shooting kids. Gangs fighting gangs. Before we start this video, I don't want anyone to take it as we're glorifying the streets. I mean, we do love this gangster shit. But shout out to all my subscribers, shout out to all my day ones. Tonight, we're stopping in Chicago for a couple of minutes. So make sure you got it on you. For a couple of years now, Chicago been out of control. When it starts to get warm out, everyone want to act a fool. But in Chicago, it's all year round. One of the reasons it's out of control, because the OGs are gone. One of the OGs was a guy by the name of Walter Bennett, AKA Silk. I mean, he wasn't considered an OG during his run but he played by the rules set by his OGs. See, during that time, guys weren't as reckless. You couldn't come through spraying in a friend with them hustlers money. The whole neighborhood would have to come see you. That was back when you had to stand on the corner, back when you kept that gun on the tire up the street and the work in the trash. Some guys would even keep the machine guns inside the trash. Silk was young touching paper the illegal way. It's nothing like that fast money, but two things that interfered with his money was law enforcement and enemies. His beef with law enforcement kept him behind bars. He became well known through the jails for seeing his ground and his wreck on the streets. The guys love him. He would meet guys in jail, get released, and never forget about them. He would take time out of his day to make sure he sent them money and some kites. The street life took a great amount of time away from his kids. With one of them being the late rapper King Von, it's been alleged that Von would meet his dad at the age of eight years old. The street beef would be another reason he kept away from the people he loved. Looking over his shoulder 24 seven, he knew paying attention to everything moving adds another day to his life. Watching every car that passed by, the OGs taught the youngest what to look for and to avoid walking up on any car. You couldn't even blast music without getting checked by someone on the block. If you're supposed to be selling drugs, why blast music to draw attention? But what got my attention is the picture here. The pick with the herringbone chain. Back then, this was worn by true players. Now look at the size of his. I mean, lots of guys had it, but it's rare to see a pendant hanger from one. But even with Silk being fearless and having a big heart, he understood the meaning of territory. Part of surviving is knowing the areas you couldn't step into. With all the buildings that the BDs and GDs operated in, Neighborhoods were well protected. Guys would have snipers on roofs, and it's been alleged that guys were even in the sewers. Now, if you ask me, that's kind of hard to believe, but I wasn't there. You could do everything by the book, but it doesn't stop you from being watched through a scope. Now, I only take that one lucky shot, and it's been alleged that he was a victim of a sniper. Hitting a moving target that's two feet away could be difficult, so you need some type of special training to use a sniper. Now, could it be a possibility that he was shot and the shooter just so happens to be standing on the roof at the time? Yes, that would make sense. That's my opinion, but let me know in the comments what you guys think and what you guys heard. Now, I did hear part of the reason he was taken out was because he took some work from someone. He was caught at a skating rink, but that's just part of the streets. Either way, the stick up kids or the feds are gonna come. Now, some people say his pockets was A1, and he ain't have to take from anyone, but just like I said, you don't know what type of money a man is holding. Now, and I did hear about the skating rinks out in the shop. Some people in Chicago informed me that the skating rinks in Chicago is nothing to play with. It's a dangerous place. The parking lots was a dead zone. Grown men would get a funny feeling just being around that area. A lot of dirt is done in those parking lots and bodies will get left. But this event happened in 2005 or 2006. King Bond was only 11 when he lost his dad. Some say Silk didn't die right away on the spot. He survived the gunshot, but two days later, he would pass from the surgery. Now, Chicago stand up. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new, go check out the other videos. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. I appreciate all my subscribers. Y'all stay safe. Get y'all money. Stay out the way. I'm out.